Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright today. It's Wednesday, March 15th. Currently it's a cold 31 degrees. High today is 51. No chance of rain or precipitation. Uh, it snowed a little bit yesterday, flurries. Uh, winds at 3 mile per hour. Um, Logan's awesome stack reviews will be today. You know, I had I got my phone yesterday and had some trouble getting it all figured out. I had to go to the Spectrum Spectrum store, and they the the lady that sold it to us she helped us out a lot and got everything squared away. It you know I didn't want to have uh, anxiety over trying to get the thing figured out because when I looked at the instructions I was like I don't know I don't remember her saying this stuff. I thought all I had to do was the smart switch. To transfer the stuff so I knew we wouldn't have time to do uh, Logan's uh, show last night or if I would even be able to figure out the phone but it'll be today is what I'm getting at that's why I want to send out that community post but um, phone seems to be working really good I've run into a few glitches something I think I I put the wrong password in Facebook an old password or something like that but I got it straight now found the other one so anyway, yeah, uh, this I love this phone. I mean, I had the S21 uh, before. This is the S23 Ultra 5G, and, you know, it's just great. I, I mean, uh, what I like about it is I pretty much, it's pretty much set up the way the other one was because I have trouble with all that stuff if it's totally different. So most of it's the same. So I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. I just hope I I asked if um, I told told them that I was having problem with the, the uh, systems category uh, taking up all my storage space Of course, this one's got 512 GB that one only had 128 and I said when we transfer all this will it if it has some kind of malware or a virus or something I said will it go on this phone and she said no she said just this one has virus protection and stuff and, she said it wouldn't, so I hope it doesn't have any problems. I just just worries me a little. <laughs> so anyway, things will work out, and we'll have Logan's show. It's going to be a really great show this evening. Um, uh, what did we have for dinner last night? We had sloppy joes and fries, and I made a short, a little cooking video. <clears throat> so check it out. It's less than a minute long, but pretty much pretty much can figure out everything you know it's it was pretty easy to fix so check out that short and um, tonight we're having tacos and Spanish rice um, I think I've got a I think I bought um, I'm not sure what brand it is I bought some like ready rice but I can't remember what brand it was I'll let y'all know how it was <clears throat> that's what we plan on trying uh, but we got other rice mixes if we, you know, I think we still got one nor. The nor Spanish rice is really good. Uh, I think y'all would like it. Um, okay. I've got a taste test, everybody. Taste, a morning coffee break taste test. <coughs> You've probably seen it on the thumbnail. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's, and I've got another one. It's, uh, Buffalo style chicken, but I didn't know how hot that one would be for in the morning like this So I got the premium chicken salad. It's food life balanced fully cooked premium chicken salad Like I said, I got it at Dollar Tree so $1.25 isn't too bad for it really Okay um, Nutrition facts only 90 calories uh, if you eat the whole thing 5% of total fat, 5% saturated fat, that's not bad, no trans fat, 12% of cholesterol, 16% of sodium, that's, that's not as bad as a lot of things, you know, that are kind of like this, you know, that I've tried, um, different things like ramen and, you know, that I've tried or have more salt. Uh, only 1% of carbs, so very low in carbs, no fiber one gram of sugar, nine grams of protein is not bad, and 2% of calcium and iron. So, 
first ingredients chicken that's always good <laughs> so I'm gonna put this out in this little plate here and I'll uh, show you See. I like I figured y'all might like to see it instead of it being in the, the pouch here. You know, I get it all out. Yeah, I thought that'd be a better way to really see what's there's a little teeny bit more in there. I can get it all out. Let's see, set that like that. Okay, let me just a little bit to where you can see what's going on here. All right. Okay, here it is. Looks like a lot of mayonnaise. It's kind of saucy a little bit. I can see, you know, uh, celery. So let's see. Chicken tastes real good in it. Kind of surprised. It's not um, sweet at all. I had some, some chicken salads that was sweet. It's actually uh, it's actually really good. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot here. There's a little bit left in here. They show it on a, croiss I mean a croissant. That would be good. It might be enough to put on a croissant, but it's a little runny. So, could stand to have more of it in there. That's, that's not really a whole lot. Okay. I do like it. I don't know. I think it would be good with a little bit of relish, a little bit of sweet relish in it. I really do. Because that's kind of like the chicken salads that I've tried seem like they have a little of that in it or something. Something that's a little sweet. It's not bad. Um, you know, I think it could be a little bit better, but it doesn't taste bad at all. Uh, it's it's not like I said I, I kind of expected to have a little sweet taste for some reason but the nutrition packs are good I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars I think it could taste a little better with something like I said a little relish or something maybe just just like how I like it y'all may like it without any any type of sweetness to it but uh, four and a half and I'm going to give it five on the um the nutrition facts because really um, the cholesterol is not that bad if it's if you make this one of your meals or something especially or even at a snack because um, a lot of the things that I eat the rest of the day I don't know about y'all excuse me my sinuses are bothering me a little bit 12% uh, wouldn't be that bad of a figure if you don't have a whole lot of cholesterol the rest of the day which most things don't seem to have too much in it uh, that, that we eat now. I don't know if y'all might have something else. But that's the highest really figure besides 16% sodium. And that's not bad. Not, not at all compared to other things like these little dinners I've tried or little like Michelina things. You know, there'll be some of them will be like 25 to 24 to 30% or something. So it's it's low kind of in salt. So uh, yeah, I, I like those nutrition facts. It's low in calories, 90 calories. So I give that I give that a five for that and a four and a half for taste, you know, just for my personal preferences. There being just a little sweetness to it, I I like it that way. So anyway, yeah, check it out at Dollar Tree. It only costs you a dollar twenty-five just to decide if you like it also. And if you like the something spicier, I'm sure this one I've, I've got it sitting back here is why I look at the buffalo style. I may, if y'all, you know, enjoyed this one, I may try the buffalo style one day. I, you know, it can't be that hot. I mean, if I'll at least know, uh, you know, if I try it. So, uh, we got some today's tidbits. 
some of them have been pretty cool lately. I like this one uh, especially. It says, name a baby sloth help build a rainforest habitat in Los Angeles. Look how cute, y'all. And I hope, the, I hope the picture quality is real good. I can't help like the, you know, reflections and stuff. But let me know what you think about the resolution on this, uh, this phone. I mean, I can set it. I've already got it set like when it comes out. The, it's a HD version. It takes a while. If it comes out real quick, it won't all the way be up, or, you know, uh, to the HD version. But I try to set it. Uh, when you put it on higher picture quality, it says, um, what does it say? Shoot. Uh, it'll say 720. And then if I go to it and play it and then press settings, it, I can put it on 1080. So that's what I, if I remember, that's what I've been doing. So hopefully this will be, you know, this is 5G. I don't even know if it's YouTube set up for something that high. <laughs> but at least it'll be the best it can be, I hope. So, uh, yeah, the Wildlife Learning Center in Silmar, Los Angeles, is calling to name an adorable two-toed sloth born in the spring of 2022. Also, Hudson and Dash are three dashing options on the ballot in the contest. A $10 donation gets you one vote. The funds raised will aid in developing a new rainforest-like sloth habitat, which requires warm, humid air. It's so cute. This little see-through fish has a rainbow shimmer. You can see right through this little completely transparent parent aquarium fish from Thailand. Its body flickers with shimmering rainbow colors. Scientists have figured out how this ghost catfish creates its iridescent glow. As light passes through the fish's skin, it has tiny structures in the muscle that turns the light into a colorful spectrum. How neat. Sky high surprise, fighter jets fly over Los Angeles before Oscars. For those who weren't expecting it, there were undoubtedly fighter jets flying over Los Angeles before Sunday's Oscar ceremony. The two U.S. Navy F-18s flew as a part of an opening tribute for Top Gun Maverick, which was nominated for Best Picture. Many people were unable to see the jets due to cloud cover over parts of Hollywood and other areas. And I love that movie. We all did. Yeah, I could, I could watch it again. Have I already watched it again? We may have watched it twice. I'm not for sure. It seemed like we did. But I could watch it. In, uh, that's one of those movies I could watch however many times. It wouldn't matter. Um... Summer Inferno, record-breaking heat wave for 2023. I'll show you. That's what we'll all look like. According to the Farmer's Almanac predictions, hey, kitty, you going to... You want some of the tuna, uh, chicken salad? She thinks that's her... I better put this up. I'll get her tuna. Okay. I got her little tuna with a scallop topper thing. She's down here eating it on the floor. There wasn't much room up here, some stuff in the way for her to eat it. And I gave the rest of the tuna the joy of the, I mean, of the chicken salad stuff. Okay, yeah, record breaking. Um, according to the Farmer's Almanac predictions, the upcoming, I don't know if I read this, I think I did, didn't. Summer of 2023, which officially begins on June 21, might become one of the hottest on record. Temperatures are likely to peak in mid-August and reach into the 90s, possibly even exceeding 100. The season will begin with a few rainstorms, especially in the areas of east of the Mississippi. That don't sound too great. Okay. Come on. Come on. What is this thing doing? I'll see if there's any nice news. I still got a little time. Okay, I'm I'm talking with uh, back and forth a little bit with uh, the people from Jeff's. Um, if if y'all saw one of my um, community posts, I made it over, or we we made it over a million views now. And um, 
I'm actually when I checked into it, I'm at as far as watch time minutes, I'm at three million seven hundred and eighty some thousand. So it won't be too long before I get to uh, four million watch time minutes. And uh, it's not it's been all of us, you know, and, and Logan is a big help and Joy does things with me all the time. So they haven't made it there by myself. I, I, you know, I'm glad that I had their help and, uh, and that they're part of my channel. So if things work out, I'm going to have a giveaway and, and Jeff's will be the sponsor of it. If things work out like I think they will. Uh, they're, they're just great people to work with. Okay, um, yeah, I saw, a, a, a matter of fact, there's an email that I'll get after a while uh, from them. It has something to do with that, I'm pretty sure I see part of it. Okay, that, that'll be, it'll be a good one. Okay, nice news, let's see if we can, hmm, what's it doing? Well, let's see if this will open up. I, I don't. Sometimes it looks different here. I don't know why it's uh, taking so long to. Come on. Come on. I don't know. What's it doing? Maybe I pressed the right thing. Okay. Well, that's a, this is, says, uh, what's a January anyway, a brief guide to the origin, origins of each month's names. Did we do that? I don't think so. Ever stop to wonder, uh, how the first month of the year came to be called January or whether the other months names from February through December originated in case the start of another trip around the sun. As you're curious, here's a brief overview of how we arrived at our present day calendar system. Um, where is it? It says prior to the Julian calendar, there was the ancient Roman calendar, which the Gregorian calendar is based upon. The Roman calendar was far more complicated lunar calendar for the farmers, farmers almanac. While it also featured 12 months in every year, initially only 10 of the months were seen fit to name and winter time has a long history of being considered a time for rest. In ancient Rome, it was time when the government and military were inactive, which resulted in only naming the months that are now known as March through December. Hmm. March was originally the first month of the Roman calendar. The British Museum's website explains, a calendar reform eventually added January and February, albeit to the end of the calendar at that time. Wow. Says January is named after Janus, a Roman god whose domain was gates and doors. February, a Roman festival of purification known as Februa or Februalia, was the inspiration for February. February is a Latin word for meaning to cleanse. March, a Roman god of war, was named Mars, given that this was the time of year when military campaigns resumed following the dead period of winter. Uh, I'm kind of going, there's so many of them, there's 12, so the Latin word uh, puris, this is April, meaning to open, conjuring the spirits of, conjuring the spirits of blossoming flowers, led to the naming of the month Aprilis, Aprilis. May, the earth god Maya, whose domain was to nurture and oversee the growth of plants, was an inspiration for May. Goddess Juno, who, this is June, whose purview included marriage, childbirth, and overall well-being of women, was a mythological wife of Jupiter, who was a king of the Roman pantheon. The Latin word juvis, juvenus means young people. July is derived from Julius, as in Julius Caesar. August, similar to the origins of July, August was inspired by a well-known Roman figure, Emperor Augustus Caesar. September. Originally the seventh month, of, seventh month of the year in the early Roman calendar, September stems from the Latin word septum, which means seven. Octo is the Latin word for eight, which is now the eighth month of the early Roman calendar came to be named. November, you probably see where we're going with this. The Latin word is nine for November. 
N O V E M, and finally Decem for December, the Latin word for 10 inspired December. So that's kind of neat. Let's see, do they have any? Maybe they have a quote on here. Whip. I don't know where. Whipped. I don't see one. So sometimes they don't have them. I don't know. It seems like it's a different format sometimes, too. They change it around, I guess. I can't find the one at the bottom. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it for today's morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you at Logan's Awesome Sack Reviews tonight. Bye, everyone, and God bless.